Welcome to the Kiva Partner Academy. In this lesson, we will learn how to manage a few new features on Kiva, such as flexible fundraising, fees, and the local currency management option. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to access information about these new features in Kiva's partner admin system, PA2, understand how flexible fundraising works, and understand how the local currency management option works. This lesson is intended for the finance manager. You should understand how to manage the new features such as flexible fundraising, local currency management, and fees. And the Kiva coordinator. You should understand how these new features affect your work in PA2. Note that all of the information found in this video can be found in Kiva's Field Partner Help Center, accessed via PA2. To find the relevant articles in the Help Center, navigate to PA2, partners.kiva.org. Click on Help Center in the upper right side of the screen and search for flexible fundraising or local currency management. Let's take a look at PA2 and learn where you can check currency settings information and which loan themes are set up for flexible fundraising and what the current fee rate is for each loan theme. Please note that the following video was taken on Kiva's test environment. Please ignore the orange banner. Log into PA2 and click on the Account button on the right-hand side. Click on Profile, and then scroll down to Default Loan Settings. Under Default Currency Loss, you will see which currency exchange model you have enabled. If you scroll further, look at the table under Loan Theme Information. Here you will see columns displaying flexible fundraising and fee rates for each of your organization's loan themes. As a reminder, flexible fundraising means that if a loan raises anything less than 100% of the funds requested in 30 days, the partner will be sent whatever amount is raised. We will talk through each of these main features in a few minutes. For now, let's continue our tour of what's new in PA2. Navigate to the account page and click on into a monthly statement. At the top, you will see a new line item for total fees paid that month. Fees have also been added to the total raised table in the statement. We've added columns to the monthly statement to clearly communicate transactions impacted by the local currency management options. There is detailed information in the Help Center if you search for Currency Exchange Report. We have also made some updates to reports in PA2. Please note that some of these reports will not be populated until loan terms are completed. The Currency Report will now contain detailed information reflecting Kiva's updated currency offering. Loan listings, accessible via the home page, will be updated to account for flexible fundraising, so that totals displayed there will represent the total amount raised rather than the sum of posted loan amounts. When you click to see Fundraising Loans, you will be able to see which loans are currently fundraising, how much has been raised, and if flexible fundraising is enabled for each loan. The Delinquent Loans Report and Loan Theme Report will be updated to account for flexible fundraising. The Loan Activity Report will be updated to include fee and flexible fundraising information. Let's learn about what's changed when posting new loans. You are now able to see various product parameters when you create new loans in PA2. The Loan Theme field for each loan sets these parameters. On step four, you will see which local currency option is enabled. In the review stage, step five, you will notice a summary of the loan, including if flexible fundraising is enabled, which local currency option is enabled, and what the fee is for the loan theme type. Note that eventually other parts of PA2 will be updated with new features. These include updates to the loan funding information table on the PA2 homepage and updates to the borrower profile page. Now, let's dive into how flexible fundraising and the new local currency management options work and how you will manage these features as a Kiva field partner. First, let's talk about flexible fundraising. Before August 1st, 2019, loans posted to Kiva's platform had 30 days to raise the entire requested amount. But if they did not raise 100% of that amount requested, the loan expired. If the loan expired, the partners received $0 of the amount raised, and all of the funds were returned to Kiva lenders. With the newly introduced flexible fundraising features, loans posted to Kiva's platform still have only 30 days to raise funds. 
If the loan raises 100% of the funds requested within 30 days, that amount will be sent to the field partner. If the loan raises anything less than 100% of the funds requested in 30 days, the partner will be sent whatever amount is raised. Kiva is only activating this feature for partners who disperse loans before posting them on Kiva and have other sources of capital they can use to cover the portion of the loan not funded on Kiva. Let's walk through an example. A loan is submitted on Kiva's website for 1,000 local currency units, and the exchange rate on that day is 5.6 local currency units to one US dollar. The amount is converted to US dollars and rounded up to the nearest $25 for a total of 200 US dollars to be posted on Kiva's website. The loan fund raises 150 of the 200 US dollars requested. The partner will receive 150 US dollars and will need to supplement the rest of the loan with 50 US dollars or 160 local currency units. The repayment reporting process will stay the same when flexible fundraising is enabled. Kiva will automatically multiply the repayment amount reported by the partner by the ratio of the loan amount raised to the loan amount requested in order to include a repayment in the monthly statement. Each month, the fee will be deducted or added to your monthly statement. It is calculated based on the amount raised to each loan theme and what the fee rate was for that loan theme at the time the loan was posted in PA2. These fees can be reviewed at any time on the profile page of your account tab that we reviewed earlier. Please note that the local currency management option is not available in all regions. If your organization does not have the local currency peg enabled as your currency management option, you can close this video now. Thank you. Let's take a look at how the local currency peg works. Kiva's funding is still going to be sent to you in US dollars and you will still be required to make repayments wired in US dollars. For some partners and currencies, Kiva uses a consistent exchange rate from the statement associated with disbursement of funds raised by Kiva through the repayment period for each loan, eliminating partner exposure to currency movements during that period. Now, lenders will assume exposure to currency movement instead of Kiva partners. How does this work? Let's use an example. 100 loans fundraise on Kiva during the month of August. On September 15th, Kiva issues the monthly statement for all loans raised on Kiva in August. All repayments associated with these 100 loans will be pegged to the US dollar's local currency unit exchange rate on the day that this statement is issued, in this case, September 15th. The exchange rate used is the mid-market rate provided by www.xe.com. Let's assume that all 100 of these loans have the same loan amount of local currency unit of 15,000 and assume that the US dollars to local currency unit rate on September 15th is one US dollars to 50 local currency units. By the end of September, Kiva sends 30,000 US dollars to the partner, which is equivalent to 1,500,000 local currency units. By the time the loans are due to be repaid to Kiva, the US dollar to local currency unit rate changes to one US dollar to 52 local currency units. Previously, in order to send 30,000 US dollars back to Kiva at the new exchange rate, the partner would need to pay 1.56 million local currency units back to Kiva. However, since the partner's liability is calculated at the fixed rate of $1, to 50 local currency units, Kiva adjusts the US dollar amount in the invoice to reflect only the USD equivalent of 1.5 million local currency units owed to Kiva and invoices that partner for $28,846.15. The difference of $1,153.85 is a currency loss and the full amount of this is absorbed by Kiva's lenders. That brings us to the end of this lesson. You should now be able to see which loan themes have flexible fundraising enabled and which have a fee, view your organization's currency settings, see updates to your PA2 account to help you effectively manage your Kiva portfolio, 
understand how flexible fundraising works, understand how to manage Kiva's fee, and understand how the local currency management model works. Thank you for completing this lesson of the Kiva Partner Academy. We hope to see you again soon. Under currency model, under currency model.